So you want to build a computer, but you don't exactly know how. Well, look no further, because hopefully uh, my walkthrough will show you everything you need to know. I plan on taking this walkthrough all the way to the maze level, and if you don't know what that is, then stick around. So let's get started. Alright, here it just wants us to... Uh, mess around with this and figure out what the truth table is, which is what this is called. Um, so, I already know this is the result, but you can tell this just by flicking the inputs. Uh, both are off, on, so on, yada, yada, so forth. <clears throat> That's called the NAND gate. Uh, what that stands for is not AND. So, the AND truth table, for example, would be this. Because it's only true when both 1 and 2 are on. And NAND means that it's inverted. So, you just invert them all. Um, in reality, an AND gate is actually an inverted NAND gate. But uh, we'll see that later when we go more in depth into the logic. Alright, next up is the NOT gate. So we only have one gate to work with here, so... And uh, this is actually all we need. So if you remember the truth table for the NAND gate, it's only on when both inputs... Or it's only off, I'm sorry, when both inputs are on. So we can actually just connect both of the inputs straight to our... Or our input pin straight to our input. See that now it's turned off and this is turned on because both pins are off. When we turn the input on, it flips it, because this is the only uh, case where it will turn off. I forgot to connect that. There we go. Alright, next up is the AND gate. So like I said before, you can just invert an AND gate into an AND gate. So take our NAND gate, put it into an inverter or not gate I, I tend i tend to call them inverter just because that's how my brain works and you see the truth table down here we can mess around with this see both are off we're off one is on still off the other still off both are on and we're on i hope the uh inverted nand gate uh, makes sense to you that it's an and gate essentially you're just taking away the N with this N. Um, I guess I could show you just two inverters connected together. See that goes in red, comes out green, uh, goes into green the next one, comes back out red, so it just returns to its original state. Next up is the NOR gate. So what that stands for is not or. Alright, so we're going to have to connect both our inputs to one NAND gate eventually. The question here is now, how do we get the NAND gate to turn on with only one input? Actually, wait, no, it already turns on with one input, I'm sorry. And it's already on by default. So we need it to turn off when both of these are off. So let's go ahead and stick a couple NOT gates in front of it. Okay, so now both are off and we are... Oh wait, I'm sorry, I, I'm, I was building an OR gate. Um, one is on, we're on. One is on, we're on. Both are on. Okay, well, now that we have an OR gate, um, or we have an OR gate, I'm sorry, uh, we just need to invert it to add that N in there. So, not OR. Not 1 or 2. True. And if either turn on, we turn off. Cool. Cool. I'm going to copy this because I'm pretty sure we got 
in order gate next level. Uh, oh, if you didn't know, by the way, you can um, hold shift and click and drag, and that'll multi-select, and then just control C, control V, you could also do control X to cut. There. Alright, and just as expected, we have the or gate that we already built. Just need to remember to take that not gate off. You can also hold alt and click and drag your little nodes. Perfect. Always on. Create a circuit that is always on. Alright, so we remember that the NAND gate, actually we get the little preview of the truth table. The NAND gate is always on unless both inputs are are on. So what we can do is we can just wire up this input to one pin of the NAND gate. And just leave the other pin unconnected and now we're always on. Alright, next is second tick. Da, da, da. Output green on the second tick only. So this may seem complicated at first, but really all this is asking for is it wants input one and not input two. Because the second tick is the only tick in that case where, you know, that that is true. So what we just do is take our AND gate. It kind of um, comes naturally if you just say it out like one one and not two and check our truth here so both are red we're red input one is red we're green but input two is green we're false that's down here then input one is red but input two is green and we're still false Sometimes just, you know, speaking it out uh, does wonders. Alright, next up is exclusive or, okay. This one I might actually need to try and remember. So it's just telling you what to do. So yeah, exclusive or means that it's only on when a single input is true. Not, not two and not zero. Um, okay, I think this can be made with just three gates, but I don't remember which three. I believe there is, actually, there's a, uh, there's an achievement that I actually remember how to get, so I'll, I'll show you that. Just get four AND gates, where these two up here, where this one up, to the insides of this, and then wire these. I'm gonna do it this way, make it look cleaner. Wire the outsides to the inputs, and then wire that to there. Okay, so red and red, red, green and red, green, red, green, green, and green, green, red. And uh, that'll give us the achievement. I, I've already got it, so. It's not going to give it to me, but there we go. Next up, bigger OR gate. So it just wants three inputs, and uh, this is just about the easiest thing in this game. Just two up into one OR gate, just goes into the pin of that OR gate. Not even really going to bother with this. It's too tedious. Alright, the next one is... A bigger AND gate, uh, same exact concept. Just with the AND gates. Alright, there we go. Last one for the basic logic. Exclusive NOR gate. And so, they gave us the XOR gate. And they still have the NOT gates. So as you can imagine, we just invert the exclusive OR. 
So it's only on um, when either both are on or both are off. It's never, I mean, it's kind of, uh, it's not easy to say, like, not exclusive or. Um, to be honest, this gate is rarely ever used. I, I think in my current build, I actually don't have a single XNOR gate. So don't worry if you don't understand this one too much. Um, you don't need to use it really ever. I think that will be it for uh, the first video. Uh, in the next video, we're probably going to get uh, halfway, maybe. Yeah, probably just halfway through arithmetic and memory. So thank you for watching. I hope you found it helpful. And I'll see you in the next video.